the narcissist will never see this coming. They will never realize that this is approaching or about to happen. This moment that is both unpleasant and unexpected. They will never have guessed that it could have turned out in this way. They will never anticipate these course of events take place. The narcissist devalued and degraded you. They made you feel like you weren't good enough. They made it seem like they could replace you at any moment. And you were constantly walking on eggshells. You were extremely cautious about your words or actions. You were very careful about what you said or did. Because the narcissist got angry or offended very easily. They were miserable and dissatisfied. Nothing was good enough for them. They always had something to say about you. But you still stayed and tried to improve. You tried to be better. You tried to be what they wanted you to be. They had you running endlessly on this hamster wheel. Chasing after their validation. But it's like as soon as you achieved a certain aim or objective. They move the goalposts. They unfairly alter the conditions or rules of a procedure during its course. And then it's like you were starting from the beginning all over again. It's like you were taking one step forward, two steps back. Every time you made progress, you experienced events that caused the situation to be worse than before. Because even if you ticked off everything on their bucket list, there was always something else they wanted you to do. They always wanted more. And they would downplay everything you did up until that point. As though it wasn't that great. It wasn't that special. As though anyone would be willing to do the same for them, if not more. They cannot slow down and give time to process anything that you've already done for them. Because then you would realize that you're more than enough. You've done more than enough for them. And they've done very little for you. But of course, they don't want that to happen. They want you to keep producing and providing for them. They don't want it to stop. Because although they may not show any gratitude or appreciation for what you're doing for them. They would struggle to live without it. They wouldn't be able to experience the same standard of living without you. They are dependent on you. They are unable to do this without you. And that is why they have such a strong sense of entitlement. That is why they have to feel like they have a right to you and everything that you have to offer. That is why they have to believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. They have to make themselves believe that they deserve this from you. And they have to make you believe it. But if you ever confront them, you will find that they become very defensive. They become very anxious to challenge or avoid criticism. They may even play the victim role. They may portray themselves as victims of circumstances or of your behaviour. 
in order to gain pity or sympathy, to evoke compassion and thereby get what they want from you. They know exactly what they are doing. They know how to get what they want from you. They know how to make you feel guilty. They know how to make you feel like what you're doing isn't enough. Even though you may be running yourself into the ground. Even though you may be neglecting yourself. They learned these tactics in childhood. When they want something from you, they will first act nice. But if you say no, they will have a temper tantrum. They will shout and scream in the hopes that you will ju just want it to stop. So that you will then just give in and give them what they want. The narcissist downplays everything you do. They make it appear less important than it really is. They reduce the emphasis on its value. They try to minimize it. Because they don't want you to realize how much you're doing for them. They don't want you to realize that you've done more than enough. Because then that would mean you'd have to stop and you'd have to expect something in return for then. They play the victim and keep pointing the finger at you because it keeps you looking at yourself. It keeps you doubting yourself. Wondering if maybe they're right. Maybe you haven't done enough for them. Because as empaths, that's what we do. We question ourselves. We feel guilty. We try to do more. But no amount of empathy is going to save you here. Because the narcissist is like a bottomless bucket that can never be filled. No matter how much you pour into them, they will never be satisfied. It will never be enough for them. You will only end up being destroyed in the process. And the narcissist sees it as though you're not good enough for them. They're arrogant and entitled enough to believe that they can do better. And in most situations they will have already lined up the next source of supply. They will have someone waiting in the wings to replace you. Someone to take over your role as their primary source of supply. This is when the narcissist discards you. They think the grass is greener on the other side. They think they found someone who is better than you. So they leave you like you never existed and move on to this new person. Your supply has lost its potency. So at this point, anyone seems better than you because your supply no longer has the same effect on them. Every supply has an expiry date. So they don't even realize that they're, down, that they're downgrading. They might be with someone who is less attractive or has less money. But they don't even notice it. Because all they're focused on is this potent source of supply that they're getting. It makes them feel alive. It makes them feel like there's something desirable and attractive. It makes them feel special and important. And this is the point where the narcissist is most at risk of danger or harm. Their desperate need for supply 
blinds them to what is happening right in front of their eyes. It's like the movie Shallow Hell. The narcissist overestimates the attractiveness and the success of their new source of supply. They think they're so much better than they actually are. And this is what gets them into trouble. This is what they never see coming. The narcissist will never see this coming. They think they found someone who is perfect for them. Someone who is so attractive and successful. When really it's just their desperate need for supply. That is blinding them to what they are really dealing with. And they don't realise what they're dealing with until it's too late. It's only when the supply loses its potency. And reaches its, its, its expiry date. That they then come to their senses. That they then regain consciousness. That they then start to think and behave reasonably. After a period of foolishness and irrationality. And by that point it's too late. Because now they're stuck with someone who is far less attractive and successful. Than they thought they were. Someone who probably doesn't even give a shit about them. But because they were so desperate for supply in the beginning, they couldn't see the forest for the trees. They couldn't see what was really happening. When the narcissist is targeting new supply, they can be really gullible. Anyone can sell them a dream. And they will fall for it. They will even try to sell that same dream to you, thinking that they've hit the jackpot. But it's only a matter of time until they realise that they've just been duped. They've just been taken for a ride. And this is what the narcissist will never see coming. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.